Well, hello, my spooky gumdrops, and welcome. In today's video, as I mentioned in my last one, it's going to be an accessories slash shoes slash I have one leather slash leather jacket I want to show you. Um, so let's just get right into it. Just so you guys know, I am going to link what I can in the description box. Um, unfortunately, most of this stuff I cannot link. The Winkle pickers that I'm going to show you um, are actually pretty much discontinued. You can only find them on places like Depop, Poshmark, Vinted, Mercari, or in second-hand stores like Goodwill, Plato's Closet. The first item that I have is this belt that I got off of Amazon. And although I have the single buckle belt, I wanted the double buckle for outfits like this. Plus, it goes very well with my Winkle Picker style shoes. I don't necessarily know that these would be considered Winkle Pickers. They are Winkle Picker inspired. You can see. I saw these in another guest YouTuber's haul, if you will. These are actually from Forever 21. Now, usually I am a size 7. These are 7.5. They are very comfortable. They do have a slight heel, like some Winkle Pickers that I've seen. So I'm very excited about that. And then they do have this little part that kind of scoops up on your calf. You can't really feel the floor all too, too much in these. So I kind of really like them. I'm excited to add them to my collection. The buckle boots I got for $12. So very cheap to get Winkle Pickers. The next pairs that I'm about to show you aren't so cheap. So I did again get these second hand. These are from Depop. Um, but again, they have the buckles, which is what inspired me to get this kind of color buckle. They have these all up the sides. Pointed toe again. These have a slightly smaller heel, so they're not as comfortable to walk in. Also, as compared to the other ones from Forever 21 that I just showed you guys, these do not have a zipper up the back. You essentially have to undo almost every buckle in order to get into these. And I believe that they said these are American Vintage branded. I'm not sure if that's an actual brand. If it is, please drop a comment down below. I did get these in an exact size 7 women's U.S. And the last pair of Winkle Pickers that I have that are original Winkle Pickers are the Underground UK brand. Um, and I did have to repair this, which really sucks. The last pair I think I paid about a hundred bucks and these I also paid about a hundred bucks. That's not including the shipping. I did get these off of Poshmark though. Size uh one in US seven again. Now the thing with these, thankfully I had some fabric glue, but if you can see up at that front point is the fabric glue. That's what they look like from the front. But I had to essentially put that on and then clip it down for about six hours. In order to get it to dry because it started peeling away the second day that I had them and I haven't even worn these out so I'd be wary um, I will link these uh, the website for these down below the actual link from underground's website I'm not sure if that's because they're so old that they they're just starting to peel away um, but I just I find that's a little bit of a flaw and I don't really like that but <laughs> I do like the look of them, so um, similar to the last one, they do have buckles across the front, and although there is a zipper on the inside, you still do have to undo every buckle, so that's six of them, in order to get in and out of these. So I was looking for pleather jackets because I've been watching Maddie Danger's videos and I see that she has a couple of leather slash leather jackets. So while looking one day on Facebook Marketplace, I did discover this jacket. And this came with two other shirts, but all together, 25 bucks. I'm not even joking. But these were not actual studs. 
It's just a part of the material. They're very squishy. And I like that because then it just kind of gives it a seamless look. This is by Rockin' Republic. It's just like a little moto jacket. I think that's what you'd call this. And what I love the most is the fact that... Little pockets here. But it's the fact that on the side, if you are just a little bit wider, it stretches on the sides. So that way, when you go to put this on, and it stretches, and you don't feel like you're constrained. I just, I really do love this jacket. Starting off, I did get this one secondhand offline. Um, I was looking on Poshmark for certain belts like this. So this is a gray wide elasticated waistband. But this goes together like this, like holding hands. I found that kind of fancy. You can find these just about anywhere online, but shopping sustainably, secondhand. This one was actually packaged very well for being from Amazon. It was packaged in a bag, the Amazon bag, plus the box. Plus it was wrapped in this. Now I've seen everybody get these belts from Temu, Timu, however you want to pronounce it. This is what it is. It's a three buckle elasticated waist belt with studs up and down the side so it would go very nice with the moto jacket that I just showed you again elasticated I did get this in a size large and you don't have to undo all the buckles from the front because it has the snaps in the back my H&M dresses that I had in my last haul look splendid with that that's how I'm gonna try it on for you guys And then up next, I've seen everybody as of late be wanting to wear harnesses and whatnot along with belts. So I just, I picked this one up. It's your simple two buckle on the waist part, two straps, o-ring in the back, similar to like a Killstar harness. And then it's adjustable all the way around. But actually, the last thing that I have that I almost forgot, and I've been so excited about to show you guys, actually. I got a new pair of shoes! Now, another YouTuber that you may know I am obsessed with is Emily Boo. But one that I have not mentioned, I don't believe, is uh, Spiky Brandy. I think she used to be called Rainbow Goth on here. I want to say like a month or two ago, I saw that she got these boots. She hauled them, and I've wanted a pair of these ever since. These boots are going to last me for freaking ever. But I got the M373-S4. They are a Euro 38. Every time I've seen these, since I've had them for the past couple of weeks, I've been obsessed. This is what they look like. These are the new rock reactor boots. They are, they have the little strappies, just like my uh, new rock Neptunos. They have the little piece in the front, just like my tower boots. The little zip portion on the side, and the little detailed lacing at the front. Metal plate on the back with new rock. And it even says reactor. Sorry, my camera is very blurry. These are about a, they're only about a two or three inch platform, but they make me feel badass and like I've got five to six inches of height. They also have a little grippy on the side and it's like metal all around. These are like true death rock slash just regular goth boots or metal head boots, if you will, or moto boots, which is what they were created for. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Please be sure to like, and just like, subscribe, and comment as always if you wish to do so. Keep on rocking. I will see you guys in my next video. But again, until next time guys, keep on rocking.